Well, hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to test a monitor. I believe it's an 1802. I prefer the 1701 and the 1702 with their square format. But, you know, over the years Commodore did use different monitor manufacturers and shapes, etc. I like the 1701 and 2 because they stack so nicely. And as I've been told many, many times, they've almost become a TV and movie industry standard for people who are putting together maybe not a professional sort of studio thing, but a semi-professional thing. Well, what it really means is people who want to spend efficiently rather than just spend. Anyway, the one thing I'm not crazy about this is that all the plugs for the video are on the back of this monitor, which will make it more challenging, but I shall endure. Oh yeah! So yes, an 1802. And a cord that went astray. Now i got to be careful. As I do all this manipulation, not to knock anything over, because it's not as easy to get at all of this on this monitor. And I'm not really wanting to set it on its face. I will. Yeah, sorry. Uh huh. So here we go. A non commodore video cable. And we have used this before. The audio and the video are marked. Now the unfortunate thing, which I really I didn't really want to set this on its face. Did is I gotta have a look. Now the other thing about this is all the controls are on the back. Okay, gentle, 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 gentle. gentle. Huh. All right. So if this is what I think it will be. regular video goes in there. There's two things for audio. I'll just pick one. So we're going with video, not Carl Maluma. And let's see, this was made in September of 1986. Alright, so now with great care and reverence for everything else around here. Let's turn this around. And go for Oh, where's the power? Power. Okay, the power switch is not on. I don't like to plug things in with the power switch engaged. I do not. Now that we are plugged in, I don't mind turning it on. I do not. I'm just seeing what happens. And well, when I turn up the brightness, I see something. So that's always a good sign. So I guess the thing to do. Bring back <coughs> this 64 that I was testing before and plug it in. Let's see. 
where we're at. Ooh. Well, 64 was long, but definitely we had a little bit of a reaction to the sound. So turn it on. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And, hmm. Oh, but what do I see? I see nothing. Now, of course, the other thing to make sure of, did I really plug in? I did plug in the right video cable. So I am seeing nothing. And that is not what I wanted to see. I did not want to have to turn this around and dilly-dilly around with switches and things. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I have put it... I have switched it to the one that says it wants the chroma. Well, that is weird. Anyway, I know you can't see this, but now that I'm plugged in where I don't believe I should be plugged in, it's working. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, this is weird. Right, no, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Okay, yeah, this is... Even with all this light, it's hard. Okay. The lower part of the switch is video, the upper part is video, but it is Commodore video. Okay. So, I'm okay. And, let's just turn this around a bit. And that looks pretty okay. Maybe a little bright. Now, once again, all of the... Oh, all of the adjustments are on the back, which really don't make it easy to do whatever adjustments. Because actually, you know, it does look... It doesn't look in the middle. And it might look a little small. Oh, this is why I like the 1701 and the 1702. It's all right there. Mind you, I know. The door breaks off. You have no door, and everybody wants the door. I wonder if anybody's doing the 3D printing with those things. There must be somebody. Okay. Ah. And of course, if you accidentally brush against the thing on the side. Oh. I don't like this. Now, I can look in the reflection, but it's very hard. To see, okay, that's the vertical hold. Okay. I think that's the horizontal positioning. That's something to do with something. Oh, that's color. Well, that's it. I don't actually see as many of the nice options. But I think, quite remarkably, I got it pretty much in the middle. So, here we have a Commodore 1802 color video monitor. And I think it is time give top lifter a try, because it has sound and things. Now, do we hear sound? Oh, wait a sec. Oh yeah, we have sound.
like the fact that all of the monitors that I know of have that middle setting where you can pick, um, you can set things sort of at the, I guess, what they think would be good. And then you can deviate depending on the circumstances. So I am playing. I have... There we go. There, I got a tank. There, I got a tank. There, I got a tank. Now, I gotta watch it, because another tank is going to appear. So, so far, I have not lost anybody to the tank. Yeah, now if you remember last time I played, I managed, when I was trying to diddle around with the switch, oh dear, I gotta get down, I gotta get down, not get anybody, I managed, as I was diddling with the power, not the power switch, the auto fire switch, I managed to crash the chopper, don't get him, don't get him, I will shoot you, I will shoot you, okay, now I'm not gonna worry, and I'm gonna go high up in the sky, and I'm not going to worry about the fact that I'm shooting, because I don't care. And, I did manage to save 16 little people. Now, I would rather, I think, move things ever so gently. cups, but they don't really do much. But I think I want to try to hold on to them. Now, there will be planes. And what I have learned about the planes is you got to get up above them. What happened there? The plane got me. Okay. That didn't go well. I seem to have forgotten that what I need to do is stay down low when the plane swoops in, I get shot. Oh, I had this down so well. Okay, we're going to try again just because All right, I'm going to stay low. Go low. Oh, I shot the plane. I don't get any points for that, but I shot the plane. Go. Oh, what happened there? I'm at the end. Where are my guys? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, no, one got hit. I gotta get down and get that tank. And now. Get up in the air above the plane. And then I gotta not land on the guys. So whenever a plane comes, well now a tank or two, I gotta get up, gotta get up. You'd think that would kill the plane, but it does not. Alright, I'm going down. Oh, I gotta get the tank. Oh! Could have gone better. The end. Oh, you know what? I really need to practice this more because I was doing so bad, much better than that. Oh well. These things happen. So, what I think I am going to do, though, I'm going to turn this on. 
going to turn this on, I'm going to take the cartridge out, and somewhere or another, I think I had a program that, oops, um, that did things. Like uh, like did like did color things. Okay, so I can add two more A's. Oops, I shifted them. Okay. So twenty. changing each of these so it displays a different color and I, oh yeah so I remember people at Commerce like you know what some color color the combinations just don't look good and that is painfully true they just don't and that's that's the way it is. Some things look like crap. But that's not bad. So we'll go to 60. And by the way, the way I do this to get into quote mode. One, two, three, six. First of all, I, put, I change the line number. I move to the first day. I back up and I press shift and instant delete. And then I press control. And then I pick another thing, which does another color. Hmm. Oh, and now, <laughs> the cursor color is blue on blue. And that ain't great. Run. All right, so we, perhaps you thought I was finished. But there are more colors to be had. All this pressing, going back up, changing the line number, going over to the first day, backing up, pressing, insert, delete. 140. I know there's a there's a better way. There's a better way. And now I've lost track of which that I have done. I should not have. I should know. Because <clears throat> there are 16 colors. So I think I have them right. And we will run. And do we have any duplicates? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There, yeah, there, 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 there's the colors. We. So, I'd say 170. Go to 10, 10, 10, I say. Go to 1. That's not what I wanted to do. Go to 10. Run. There they go. I think what I will, oh good, I've got the, happen to stop on the right cursor. I think I'm going to poke five, three, two, eight, zero, comma, zero, and five, three, two, eight, one, comma, one. Maybe I should have done that on the program. And there's the colors. Perhaps a line five. Poke five three 
two. Hey, zero. Oh, ooh, let's do something daring. A. And poke five, three, two, eight, one, comma. A plus, oops, plus one. Liz. Okay, so now. <laughs> Let's put in line three. A equals zero. I'm going to put A equal one. And line 63, we'll put A equals A plus one. If A is greater than 15, 15, 16, then A equals 1. Now, of course, we need to change this to go to 5. So if this is right, it should do nothing. What did I do? If A is looking, I had to put the wrong sign in. That's all it takes. So now, it should do remarkable things and torment this monitor. Indeedy. So what is it doing? It's printing the things that I told it to print, and then every time it does doing that, uh, that it finishes doing that, it adds another to A, and then it changes the pokes, which change the background, and it changes the foreground. The letters just keep on running. 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 But anyway, this is a, a quick point. Well, maybe I should work up a disk drive and save this program. Maybe I should. But, you know, if I did that, I think what I'd like to do is further tidy this up. I really didn't need to have all those lines with all those A's. I did not. And also, I could set the A as a variable, like A string, and have it change things. The other thing, of course, that's not a bad thing, is to have do the spacebar in reverse. So it's color bars. Or I could have some minute message. Like Commodore, 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 Commodore. But this is not a terrible thing. At least not. So, at all accounts so far... Ah! What happened? Sorry. This monitor seems to be working. Seems to be working just fine. And there was a couple of little scuff things on this. Does this thing come off? couple of little things in there, but overall, the monitor looks mighty fine. Of course, I will have a go at it with a magic eraser. I will. I shall. I must. I suppose the other thing I should do, which I have not done as of yet, and I don't want to do right yet, because I don't want to follow this up. I think I do want to save this little program, and then I can tinker on it some more. <laughs> but I should try the um, the video through the Commodore video system, which of course is the separated chroma and lemma, etc., etc., etc. There are many people who still to this day use these monitors as television sets, and in well, as I said, in some places where they're setting up things where they care about cost and other such monitors like this, although more likely the 1701 and the 1702 because they stack, but if, say they were building in things or setting up things like a rack or having somebody, you know, with monitors that they could pick things, these could fit in and they could adapt them. But with the separate, um, not the separate, with the normal video, and oftentimes, say this was in a control room where someone was picking what they were going to do or editing or tinkering or whatever, 
they may they may or may not need sound, and the sound may in fact come through something completely different. But in terms of having the different monitors in front of you, just with the one simple video input, it makes this quite possible. That's why I do appreciate and like devices even to this day that have sorry lots of inputs. Because, you know, my grandmother's old television that I was kind of fond of, but, you know, it was big and heavy, and I really didn't have a way to put it. It only had, well, it had some funny input that Sony had made that then never developed into anything, so it was, like, useless. And then it had the one that you could, you know, hook up the twisted thing, and that was all. There was nothing. And, and if they had put uh, composite inputs on that, my golly, it would have been grand. It was a Trinitron! Would have been grand. Might be still sitting right here still. Anyway, I am going to leave this to putter along and test and torture. It'll torment the. Uh, oops. It'll torment the sixty-four. And it's always good. To, I've been, you know, I still want to do more tests. This is the the flood sixty-four, but it will test this monitor in a variety of ways. And see what's what it shall. So, I will leave this to be tested. It does seem to be in good shape. It does seem to be fine. So, that's it for today. Thanks for coming. We will meet again, I hope. Until then, keep your stick on the ice. Pray for peace. Wear a mask if you want to. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.